In the episode number 102 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA graphics card drivers, the new ASRock Live Mixer series motherboards, Be Quiet launches a 12-pin plus 4-pin adapter cable for the new RTX 4000 series graphics cards, and Noctua releases a thermal compound guard for the AMD M5 CPUs. We start with NVIDIA and their latest graphics card driver, Noad version 522.25. This driver brings out numerous improvements, mainly with the newer RTX graphics cards. This includes the already released 3000 series and the new RTX 4000 series. Some issues are fixed with this driver, such as in teardown, lower performance could be observed when MSI Afterburner overlay was used, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands displays textures corruption after extended gameplay, Unreal Engine 5 when one crashes when enabling pass tracing on some drivers. In terms of the game optimizations, the following games have received some. Dakar Desert Rally, Gotham Knights and Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. In addition to the optimization and fixes, this driver brings out support for DLSS 3, although it will only work on RTX 4000 series graphics cards. As always, I've already installed this driver on my system and nothing new to report. In fact, in some applications, the system appears to be more stable than with the previous release, but that might be just a coincidence. All this being said, the driver did not cause issues on my system. Next, ASRock launches the Live Mixer motherboard series, and immediately these motherboards are an instant buy, just because they are different than the rest. Right now, there are only two models available, one model for each platform. The purple is the Z790 Live Mixer, while the orange model is the B650 Live Mixer. Apart from the cheerful colors and design, these motherboards are packaged with up to 20 USB ports and a beefy VRM system, among other things, such as additional PCIe slots, a large M.2 socket heatsink, and three M.2 sockets. In addition to those, the motherboards have a dedicated controller that will convert 12 volts of power into 5 volts and ensure a stable power output on the USB ports. Unfortunately, no words about pricing and availability. Not yet, anyway. We continue with Be Quiet, which has launched a 12 plus 4 pin power adapter for the RTX 4000 series graphics cards. This adapter is meant to connect your Be Quiet power supply to the graphics card while being certified to deliver upwards of 600 watts. While this cable can handle the power, it is highly recommended that you check the power requirements for your graphics card and the rest of the system to ensure that you are not placing unnecessary strain on your power supply. In terms of the pricing, the adapter can be acquired for 17 US dollars. And finally, Noctua releases the NA TPG1, a thermal compound guard for the AMD M5 CPUs. What this is, well, in simple terms, it's just a frame that will prevent you from spilling the thermal compound outside the CPU area you are meant to apply it. While it might sound silly, the AM5 CPUs are using a new type of heat spreader that is not only harder to use, as in harder to apply thermal compound on it, because its surface is filled with gaps on the edges, but as many have stated, this heat spreader is not sealed all the way on the CPU, thus thermal compound might get underneath it. The Noctua Guard is a good solution to a problem that shouldn't even exist, but here we are. The NA TPG1 Thermal Pace Guard can be bought right now for approximately 10 US dollars. And this is the end of the episode number 102 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.